You desire an audience. And what do you offer? Being a noble is always being on top. Victory is victory, no matter how it's attained. Victory is victory, no matter how it's attained. Time to show you my moves! Just as I expected.
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. It's time to show you my moves! Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my servant, and fight for me! Oops. It... it was an accident. You desire an audience. And what do you want? Who's there? Huh. It's you. The General has asked me to protect you. Nothing. <sighs> the color and clarity are phenomenal. New food is coming. Ah. You desire an audience. And what do you... Who's there? The General has asked me to protect you. Now, a little progress is better than no progress, right?
Thank you for considering my lady. However, she said that if she needed anything, she would instruct us on what to do rather than trouble you. Well, she does not need to be so polite. The lady has come a long way, and it is my duty to be hospitable to guests. Should she have time today, might I be fortunate enough to meet her? I have Lord Franz, sir, I'm afraid my lady is terribly busy today and cannot see you. Please return another day. Lord Franz does not seem to be in a great mood today, I see. I heard General Hogan mention that a noblewoman lives in this house, and that she has come from the capital. And where did this bottom feeder come from? Talking about me behind my back. Be gone! <clears throat> and nice to meet you, Lord France. You're different from what I imagined. I heard you were so rich and swanky that even the fountain on your estate was made of gold. I imagined you'd look like a fine gold bar. Impertinent scoundrel! No wonder your mouth emits such dross when base wretches like you grow up eating only filth. <laughs> fine, fine. I might well be a base wretch, but that can't be said of him. What do you think, Magister? Oh no. You look like you're barely half-trained. Don't call yourself a Magister when you only know a few spells. <laughs> I wager you never attended the Serene Lyceum. Am I right? Hmm. The Magister didn't really study that much there. See? I thought as much. Peasants like you don't belong in a place like that. You've misunderstood, Lord Cocky Highbutt. The Magister didn't study at the Lyceum because he was teaching there. Yes! You journaled about that part of your life, and you allowed me to read those entries. What a bunch of tedious liars! Enough! I have an important client to meet and can spare no time to argue with the likes of you. Furthermore, I hate rodents, particularly when they scurry around my property. You'd best not let me catch you around Ryham. That region falls under my jurisdiction. He certainly wasn't humble. He's essentially saying that Ryham belongs to him. However, it doesn't look like he was exaggerating. Lord Franz does control most of Ryham, especially the southern part. You look a bit lost. Allow me to explain. Ryham is built along the Tranquil River, which divides the region in half, north and south. Two years ago, Southville heated Lord Franz and dug up its wheat fields to plant grapes instead. They made a lot of money, and nowadays many villagers regard him as the symbol and source of their wealth. They say it's a new grape variety, Gem Vine. In all of Asperia, it only grows in Ryham, and is so rare that it can't be bought anywhere else on the market. To expand production, Lord Franz has lobbied the Northville villagers to swap from growing wheat to gem vine grapes. Is this a mage's intuition then? Southville is not that far, so we could go have a look around. Well, we should probably talk with General Hogan before we go. He's waiting for us near the plaza.
Mary, I'm so glad you're safe. I heard about the fire last night. I was so worried. Eddie, I saw everything. When the fire broke out, there was a mage in the village. She was standing in my wheat field. She waved her hand and just vanished, after which the field just burst into flames. What? Are you saying you saw the culprit? Mary, take a deep breath and see if you can remember what she looked like. Um, she had red hair down to her mid-back. She was also wearing a hat with a long feather in it and a black dress with gold stripes. We need to tell this to the heroic order. Magister, listening to that description, it seems like the culprit has to be Muriel. She has red hair and wears a hat and a dress. Do you remember what the Scarlet Sorceress looks like? I think she was different from the woman's description. That's right! Muriel has even longer hair. It's like a red carpet. This is an important piece of information. Before the fire, mages other than Muriel may have been in the village. We need to tell this to General Hogan immediately. I heard the wheat fields in Northville will soon be acquired by Lord Franz. It won't be long before Northville is growing those expensive grapes, just like Southville. What? Wasn't the village chief of Ryham opposed to growing grapes? Did he back down in the end? He had no choice. You've seen how rich the people in Southville have gotten these past couple years. It's all because of the grapes. Everyone in Northville was green with envy. Who doesn't want to be rich? The old chief couldn't hold back the sea of change. Dura above. If there are grapes to the south and grapes to the north, Ryham should just change his name to Grapeville. Serious? Uh, what happened? What? This is the first I've heard of that. In short, the intel suggests that the culprit is probably someone other than the Scarlet Sorceress. But she's still a suspect. And who knows if the other red-headed mage is her accomplice. We'll have to keep investigating. Huh. We haven't even solved the issue of the changing weather, but here comes more problems. This case is related to magic, which Valen does not excel at. I'm going to ask you for your help. Are you willing to aid us? Thank you, my friend. Thanks for your help. Have you figured out what your next move is? We ought to look around Southville. Before identifying the culprit, we should learn more about the grape variety known as Gemvine. We bumped into Lord Franz just now, and he wasn't particularly friendly. What if, hypothetically, my sword falls out of its scabbard, completely by accident, mind you, and skewers his foot? You'd protect me, right? Please keep an eye on him. I'm afraid he's going to get into trouble. Then it's all up to you. May Jura above watch over you.
expect. Time to show you my moves! Just as I expect. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved.